As promised, YouTube video in Edge. This is really easy to do. Go up here and grab a rectangle, draw one out. About the size you want is your video. All right, that looks good to me. Instead of calling it rectangle, I'm calling mine movie. There we go. Done. All right, now all I have to do is get a movie and add some code. So I already have a movie picked out over here in um, in YouTube. So it's a crazy thing. Um, I, I'm going to come down here to share. If you don't see it, click share. And I'm going to get embed. And I'm going to copy that iframe. Just command C or file. Okay, now I'm going to jump back. So, all I have to do at this point is go to the code, find the stage and the plus sign, click it, composition ready. Now, we are going into a new concept, variables. What's a variable? A variable is a, a usually just a word that represents um, a variety of, can be uh, commands or positions or whatever. So, here we go. How do we do that? First, we type the letters VAR. Notice they're small and they turn blue. We need to give the variable a name. So I'm going to call it uh, movie holder. Okay. What does the movie, what does the variable movie holder do mean or hold? Well, sim, so I am, which is the same as saying hello, edge. Dollar sign, open parentheses, open double quotes. What do I want there to be their movie? So I'll type in M-O-V-I-E. Close the quotes, make sure they match. Close the parentheses, semicolon. All right, now I need another variable. So I go V-A-R, and I'm gonna call this one the movie. And equal. And what is that? Well, we collected that HTML, that embed code, the iframe. So I'm gonna take make two single quotes and a semicolon, and in between those single quotes, I'm just going to paste that iframe I copied. we be almost done. Now, here's a really clever trick. If you do it by the, because you'll notice up here, width and height are established, right? So, of course, if I had a responsive thing, it wouldn't work, so why don't we just fix this so it will work? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the 650, I'm going to put a single quote, a plus sign, and then I'm going to type movie holder dot with open parentheses, close parentheses, plus sign, single quote. Okay, now I'm going to copy it. Start, take the single quotes, and I'm going to copy it. I'm going to get that 360 for the height and delete it and paste this in and change this to height. H-E-I-G-H-T. All right. Almost done, I swear to God. So let's put these variables together. Let's go movie holder. All right. Dot HTML. And in parentheses, I'm just going to type the movie. Now notice I didn't use any quotes on that. And the reason I didn't is because variables don't use quotes. They're not strings or words. They're something else semicolon so let's test this puppy command return and there you go all ready to go you can click here to watch on youtube you can uh, go to full screen you can watch later you can get the info here's the info you can get the share if you want that share code again we have more and then you can get all the other stuff hide it and of course, volume and play. So let's play it. There you go. I am just me. I am weird. You're right, I don't fit in your world. You want to know why? Because I'm ugly. Don't look to the people that came before you going, oh my God, I can't do this. Oh my God, my idea has been done before. Yeah, shit has been done, but it wasn't done by you. Let's do this. Let's say I want to make this smaller. If I hold the shift key course, I'll make it smaller. Come back here and reload. Note that I can make it any size I want. Kind of cool, right? Yo. So, let me click. Uh, let's try something here. Let's go with um, 
responsive both. Reload and yeah, it's responsive. Cool. And that's it. That's how you do a uh, add a video via um, with YouTube. And, you know, you do the same thing with Vimeo. It's the same exact procedure. I'm done.